Hello, my name is Shubham Oli and I am a data science intern from OSIS Infobyte. This is my task three and today I'm here to present you my project on iris flower classification. So let's start. So this is my GitHub link. We have the problem statement. Iris flower has three species, Setosa, Versicolor and Virginica, which differs according to their measurements. Now assume that you have the measurement of the iris flowers according to their species. And here your task is to train a machine learning model that can learn from the measurements of the iris species to classify them. So what we have to do in summary, we have the input of sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width. And we have to make an output of class of the flower. So at first, we will import the libraries. In this project, we have used NumPy, Pandas, Seaborn, and Matplotlib. Now, after that, we will load the data set. So this is our data set. We have sepal length centimeter, sepal length, sepal width centimeter, petal length centimeter, and petal width centimeter and species. Now we will rename the complex columns because we have a compl some complex name like, like this. So we will just make them simple. So we will change the sepal length centimeter to sepal underscore length, sepal width centimeter into sepal underscore width. Now we will print the head by which we can see the top five rows of our data set. Now, as we can compare, the these names are quite easier and comfortable for us. After that, we will check the null values. So here, we have zero number of null values in our data set. Now we will check if data is biased or not. So here we have Setosa, Versicolor and Virginica are 50-50 each. So the data is not biased. Now we will check the statistical features by dot .describe method. Here we are able to see the count, mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, 25th, 50th and 75th percentile of our data set. Now we will do visualization. At first we will plot a scatter plot. And here the blue is for Setosa, orange is for Versicolor and green is for Virginica. Here we can see the Setosa is quite easier to classify. And these Versicolor and Virginica are some of the mix data set. Now we will to a pair plot. Here we can see the sepal length and here we have in blue color is Setosa, orange is Versicolor and green is for Virginica. Here we can clearly see that which species has the highest longest sepal length. So this is the blue color means Setosa has the longest sepal length. And here we can see the longest sepal width is of green color, which is Virginica. And longest petal length is for blue, Setosa. And longest petal width is of again blue, Setosa again. And here we can see the petal width to petal length. So this means uh, if it is 0 point more than, little bit more than 0 0.5 and up to 2, the flower is Setosa and so on. Now we will separate in input and output columns. So here we separate features and targets. Now after that we will slice the matrices. So this is in our X we have 150 rows and four columns. These are the rows and columns and for Y we have 150 rows. After that, splitting data into training and testing. So here, we have used the train test split. We, we created X train, X test, Y train, and Y test. And, and in our X train, we have 120 rows with four columns. Our size is 0 0.2, which means 20% of our data set will be used in testing. And rest of the data set is used for training. After that, as you can see here, we have Y test, we have 30 rows, 
for x test we have 30 rows and 4 columns and for y train we have 120 rows now building model so our first model is support support vector machine algorithm so here we have import svc after that we made a prediction model we calculate the accuracy and here we can see we have 96 percent of accuracy after that the second model is our logistic regression at first we will convert categorical variables into numbers so we will map our data set like satosa is for zero iris versicolor is for one and virginica is for two so here we can see the species is zero two now we will prepare input and outputs so here we have imported the logistic regression and our accuracy for the model is 97 percent so we will make prediction for all 150 species and this is our prediction after that we summarize the fit of the model so here we can see zero is for setosa so for zero the precision is one recall and f1 score are one which means 100 percent and for versicolor Precision is 98%, recall is 94%, and F1 score is 96%. And for Virginica, we have 94% of precision, recall is 98%, and F1 score is 96%. And after that, we will make a confusion matrix. And here we can see Setosa, it predicted Setosa, all 50 columns. And here, it, it predicted 47 of for versicolor and three for virginica. So it is 96%. And after that, it predicted 49, 49 values for virginica and one for versicolor, which is up to 98 or 96%. Correct. Now, our third model is decision tree classifier. We imported decision tree classifier. We predicted and we got 96% of accuracy. Now, we will upload a new data for prediction. This is our new data. And we predict and we got 0, 1, and 2, which means this one is for Setosa, this one is for Versicolor, and this one is for Virginica. Thank you.